Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. Come on. Let's just get to the big show. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Welcome to Project Promenade. Oh, shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted, scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. You always did drag me into these situations. Me drag you. One word, Utah. Haha. <laughs> All right. Touche. And from what I hear, you've attracted plenty of trouble without me these past few years. Well, apparently it's my forte. Jack, you know asking for our help me. I am in deep trouble. The tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. <laughs> I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Figures. Oh. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. What's happening? We're really doing this, Jack. It's going to be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. 
Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. Jack. What? You didn't say zero. Come on, man. We need ground rules. For okay, things. you turn. I'll follow. Close enough. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first... And you're my... This is crazy, Paul. I and mean, this can't be safe. What happened? All proved it works in the trial phase. Ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. Two minutes to the past. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's... There's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... He's... He's me. A future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. Up. Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no fucking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. Or what? You okay? 
I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I think Will's were dead. Time is going to end. What the hell? This is crazy. Well. Well. right all this time I warned Paul this could all have been avoided we're too late I didn't want to leave Paul, but there was no way to help him. I didn't know where he'd end up. Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. First time I was out of control. Jack, you probably must have. Will. Did back there. What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in there? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. Uh, what? Well, locked. They cut my security clearance. Ah! That didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ, security. Um, hide. They're coming in here. I warned Paul about this, about the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out of You.
we sure he didn't head back up to the lab? He could have gone back and tried to take the service elevator out of there. This doesn't make any sense. How? Orders are to keep Why are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? To flush him out. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... No context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. Time is only gonna get worse. We have to stop this before it's... How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. Will, get down! Oh, oh, God. Target's armed! Opening fire! Are you okay? I think so. But Jack... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. In a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Not good. This is not good. There's the elevator to the lobby. Wait. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Where is everybody? I don't like it. You heard the gunfire. Something's gone wrong. Hey! The other joint is here too! Take it down! We got it. Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Raider team, have Jack and William Joyce been detained? Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. The elevator. It's the only way out. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture, I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken, fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What the... 
Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was what? still frozen. Stutter. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. Where's your car? This way. God, that's... it's... Okay. Okay, Will, calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Here. You'll need the keys. Hey, Jack. Careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. What the hell? My powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. It's probably Bora or Neutron or some shit. an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. I hope they 
God, I'm not too late. But that's... I'm seeing the past. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. Help me. You don't know what you're doing. Well, fuck. They're coming from where I left Will. I gotta get back to him. Fast. I swear to God, if you hurt him. Screw the car. I need to get to Will. He's in trouble. Oh, you're Jack Joyce. Where is he? Where's my brother? They're taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated than... Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will! No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. It's supposed to take William, take William Joyce, William alive, Joyce alive, alive if he doesn't put up a fight. Up a fight. Please, please, let me go. Let me go. I can I shut can the shut hell up. The up. Look, just shut just the fuck, fuck up, up, all right? All right. Boss, Boss said to take him. Take him. Take him.
gotta get to the library. That's where they're taking him. Don't make sense. sense. Dragging this asshole this to the asshole library? To the library? Airlift's yeah, already initiated. He should be gone by now. The time machine. You taking the time machine? Hey, hey. I said don't no talk. talk. What? You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. are out across the whole damn campus. Somebody cut the power. This was supposed to be a quiet operation. We got what we came for. Yeah. Let's see the media shitstorm that follows this. Hey! Got contact! Take out the security! Sending Raiders squad to your... We've got William Joyce in the library. Huh. Waiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. There's gotta be another way in. Like a way up. Come on, I don't have time for this. I gotta slow that thing down somehow.
Nailed it. got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. They got him. Over. I wonder where the Roger. brother is. The skeleton crew and wait for arrival of Monarch Actual. Everybody else needs to reunite at the Dry Docks Cronin Extraction Grounds. Wait for further orders there. Library is set to blow in five minutes. <laughs> 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 I got a whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need the... <clears throat> Hold that thought. Oh, my briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need in order to stop the fracture. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. How the hell are you staying alive? That's part of the messed up shit I need explained. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? No. Time to come up with that. Why are they still shooting? They said wanted to take us alive. I think they changed their minds. We have to get to my briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. They kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? 
Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. Move before more of them show up. Jack! Paul? Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, <sighs> I've seen it. I've lived it for 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Trigger. I never wanted this. <gasps> My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, 
Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions. All clear, sir. Potentially turn on Monarch. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. How long until the Corps is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. I suggest... Sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to sting you. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody sneak around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses, it would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You murderer! Our secrets would be safe but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk, keep eyes on them, and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Paul, oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us, to decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time.
time's up. The one in the middle, I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. I'm so glad we could work this out. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. Good thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You could say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Shit. Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, 
<laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be, uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I've, I got a lock on his transpo. I mean, I've hacked into his camera and I'm, I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not, it's not, it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? Hello? Hello, man. I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> With these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. I know. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what happened? Um, <laughs> I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You went. <laughs> Got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now.
about investments within the city of Riverport in order to rebuild this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse over the past... and has helped eager students from all over the country to further their dreams and interest in technological research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Hold. There's been a development. You've already seen it. Tonight on the island, He'll be there, and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth column, traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Mark. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person. A terrorist. Two bacon and egg sandwiches? Oh, Sounds like a terrifying thanks. down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance? Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Thank you. Okay. What is it? You going to go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Ah. We can roll together if you want. OK. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. 
are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so see you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. And this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. No! He's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what, the of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing, it's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding to I did not give home. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Down! I'm just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the one. I felt. Think about Emily. Just relax. Leo! Shut up! Lifeboat protocol. What is it? I don't know. But Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Anyone who Come on. Fiona, it's disgusting. Holy shit, Lambert. Gotcha, buddy. 
Patch is gonna love this. Oh shit. You're fucking golden boy. Charlie, I need a favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, I'd really rather not. But in your office would be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there's nothing there. Huh? There's nothing there? He, like he just wasn't there? Like, or what? No, Hatch. He um, he reassigned me. He wants. That lead on Joyce was no good. I don't know. Uh, he sure looks like he was there. That other guy kind of looks like weird because he clear, clearly does not work for Monarch. Security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm gonna do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's gonna do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B, near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees, get your flu shot, we are free of charge, get him in HR. superhero. Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, he south on Eastman, south on Eastman. <laughs> Team, he's headed to you. He's flying. Look out. Copy. Cut him off. Cut. Don't. Come on, you got this. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Will? Uh. Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Wait, right now. Until I pull. I better read. No marksman. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up. <laughs> 